Welcome, everybody. As I have gone through life, it has always been interesting for me to realize that beginnings and endings always go together. They are a pattern of life. Whether we look to the future with fear or a sense of excitement, beginnings come. They require that we find a way to reach toward them with a sense of hope and trust. Whether we dread them or happily anticipate them, endings come. They demand that we find a way to bring closure and to build upon the foundations they leave behind. As we look at Michelle and Christopher today, we wish them well as they begin their lives together along with the children they bring to this union. Chris and Michelle, as you begin this new chapter in your lives, we wish you a life filled with just enough good things to sustain you. Gentlemen. We wish you enough sun to keep your altitude bright. We wish you enough rain to appreciate the sun more. We wish you enough happiness to keep your spirit alive. We wish you enough pain so that the smallest joys in life appear much bigger. We wish you enough gain to satisfy your wanting. We wish you enough loss to appreciate all that you possess. We wish you enough hellos to get you through the final goodbye. As we go through life, they say it takes a minute to find a special person, an hour to appreciate them, a day to love them, but an entire life to forget them. You too are those special people. May the Lord continue to bless you, and may you always be a blessing to all you come in contact with. Be happy, Mom. Be happy, Dad. Let us pray. Source and sustainer of all life, we thank you for the gift of Michelle and Christopher, and we ask you to bless their blended family with love and long life. Bless the food we are about to eat, and we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. But now we'd like to hear from the best man, Dr. Patch Rich. Thank you very much. I actually brought uh, Diana with me. She's my prop master uh, during this speech. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's going to be the prop master. For Chris, no Chris knows that I love jokes and I like being punny. You know, change of words and different meanings and stuff like that. So, um, let me put on my glasses because when you're over when you're over 50, it's a little bit hard to see. A little bit hard to see. Okay, first um, I'd like to propose a, a toast to Michelle and Chris. <laughs> Just a piece of toast right here. I'd like to propose a toast. Oh, yeah. It's like carrot top, yeah. First of all, I want to say it's an honor to have been chosen as your best man and part of this beautiful wedding. No, I'm not gonna, going to butter you up. Chris, but you are a true friend through and through, and I feel very lucky and fortunate that our paths have crossed over 16 years ago, and we're in a similar business, the embroidery business, which <clears throat> we can talk about later. It's a tough one. <laughs> I'm not being surreptitious when I say this, but I want to let you know that I'm truly happy for both of you on this special day and beyond, and wish you guys nothing but the best in love, life, and future endeavors. Also, I want to say a big congratulations to the families the friends and relatives who are sharing this special time. So let's hold up our glasses and toast, which I just lost, toast, to two very special people in honor of the bride and groom in the beginning of their married life together. I know, I know, you can't wait to jam off on your trip. <laughs> but when you get back, we really, really need to catch up and hear about your sweet honeymoon. <laughs> cheers, to, cheers to both of you guys. I love you very much, and congratulations. And one last thing, um, just so you know, these props were actually sponsored by KFC, who gave me these props for free. <laughs> I didn't have any butter or honey, so I went to McDonald's, and they charged me 11 cents, which is kind of, fresh, kind of funny. So, Oh, they milked me. Oh, 
So congratulations, you guys. Congratulations. Congratulations, man. You're welcome.